Norma Dumont and Megan Anderson have the octagon. Megan Anderson in the green and gold. Let's go. The colors of her native Australia. She is a minus 280 favorite standing six feet tall. Norma Dumont plus 230 is a sizable underdog in the black. You know, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the calmness and the confidence of Norma Dumont. Only four fights into her career, oh. making a UFC debut. She's walking up and down, smiling on her face, doesn't look nervous. She called out Megan Anderson. She wanted this fight. I mean, confidence in bucket loads here. And she looks good on the feet as well. Never fought anybody that tall. I would imagine it's rare to find somebody with the size of Megan Anderson, but in the training room with some men. Yeah, not too many ladies over the six foot mark. Right. Not that I know of anyway, but here we got the double underhooks. It's a great start for Norma. I mean, as I said, the way she was walking up and down, you could just read the body language. Now, of course, you know, that doesn't mean she's gonna win the fight, but she looks so confident, like she just had a secret, you know, something that everyone else wasn't aware of. And so far, this is great, landed a couple of shots, got the double underhooks. Megan's doing a really good job staying on the feet. It's because of those really long legs. When someone's so tall like that, it is hard to get the takedown. They can always find the floor with their feet, but Norm is still landing knees and still working the takedown. And you know, Norma, she's she's talking about fighting Amanda Nunes already. I'm like, hold on, slow your roll. <laughs> Shoot your shot. <laughs> you haven't even made your debut yet, steady on, but hey, listen, you don't ask, you don't get. Well, just 4-0 in her pro career as a mixed martial artist is Dumont, but no stranger to combat sports. She started at 15 years old, took a bit of a break, went back to training at 19. She's a national Sanda champion in Brazil and a six-time state champion in that discipline. Megan's defending well here, though. She's got the wizard on one side, trying to dig in the underhook there. She's doing all the right things. his position and now she applies the pressure on Dumont. Oh wow and that he got up to the chin. Yeah that's what you gotta watch when you find somebody that's so tall. Anytime you clinch like this the knee to the face is always there. Halfway through the first round and for the two fights in the women's featherweight division tonight. A lot at stake is some rumors out there that Amanda Nunes wants to get back to action and defend her featherweight title in Sao Paulo, Brazil when the UFC returns in May. Perhaps looking for a contender fit for that challenger role tonight. Yeah, that's right. It's kind of a, in some ways, an unofficial Grand Prix here. Whoever comes out of this the most impressive, you never know. Never know, maybe fighting Amanda Nunes, but uh, right now this is still anyone's fight. Not much has happened in terms of establishing dominance. Still trying to get the takedown for Norma. Megan's doing a good job of defending. All right, here we go. And now escapes, does Anderson, returns to the center. Anderson believes she... Re oh, buckles over the right! Dumont's out! Megan Anderson by knockout in the first round. She came forward and boom, beautiful right hand on the body. She dropped like a sack of potatoes. And she, Megan was gonna go in and give another one. And the referee was like, no, 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 not needed. She's done, she was out. Megan Anderson with another victory and to make it official, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin McDonald has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Megan Anderson!